Hey up, I'm Alex, I'm a Ninth Digi Destined, and in this episode of Show and Tell, I would like to show you the original Digimon D Terminal. So this is an old school device released back alongside the D3 back in 2000, 2001 maybe, something like that, a long time ago anyway. And it's still alive and well, this thing is really cool. This thing first appeared in Season 2 of Digimon, also known as Adventure 02, and this thing was basically a Pokedex, but with more features. So the kids were using this to email each other, and it also had a lot to do with, like, the Digi-Eggs and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool, and this device is nice and show accurate. Looks awesome. There we go. That's what it looks like all around. And we flip it open and bam, bam, bam. Under the lid, we've got some badass looking digicode so you can memorize that, make your own language and write secret messages to your friends. We all did that back in the day. That was what we used to do when we were kids. Right, and then yeah, power it on with the power button. You get this cool screen. There we go, Digimon, look at that graphic. So the primary function of this thing is a database, a digidex, if you will. So name, uh, well, let's go to A, first one in there, Aerovidramon. So we select that and we can see Aerovidramon in his big sprite looking sick. And then we've got all these options to choose from. So figure, we press that, it just resets the figure. There we go, we can see him animated. So go to name. So 165, that's his number. This was something I think they were trying to do to copy Pokemon a bit. Number in the Digimon, that's never really a thing that's stuck with Digimon, so don't need to worry about that. But yeah, you can see his name across the top. Next up, we can see his level. So he's an ultimate level. Next along is group. Aero Vigimon is a holy dragon. Pretty cool. Next up, his type. Vaccine, I think. Yeah, vaccine. Data size, don't know why that's ever going to be relevant, but yeah, he's 30.0 Gs. Technique, so this is his special attack, V Wing Blade. And then this is a really fun bit, so we go to Digivolve. Oh, we can't do it for Aero Vigimon, I'll show you that on a different one. Right, next up is number, so you can type in any Digimon number, so let's do 0, zero nine, because I'm the ninth Digidestined. The it's Gabumon. Okay, so you've seen all that stuff. So let's go to Digivolve. So we press Digivolve, and this will show you his kind of anime Digivolution line. So this is going to take us to Garurumon. What's Garurumon's special attack? Only one way to find out Howling Blaster. Howling Buster? That's, that's not right. That's not right. You're wrong, Bandai. You're wrong. It was Howling Blaster. Or was I, am I wrong? Have I been wrong my whole life? Right, next up is cards. So for this bit, we're gonna need my little red book. It's not so little. Clear the desk, clear the deck. Hey everybody, make way. This contains my classic collection of Digimon cards. So bam, bam, bam. Right, so let's have a look. So if we go to card, it's gonna ask us if it's from a starter or a booster pack. So you can tell that by the top right corner of the classic card. So BO is booster. Now we would go to Booster, Sneemon is Booster 25. So let's go to zero, two, five. Okay, and then hopefully, there he is looking sick. And then if it's from the starter decks, it will have ST in the top corner. So this one's ST39, starter deck, O, three, nine. Here we go. There he is, Marine Devimon, buzzing. Yeah, and I wasn't wrong. See, Howling Blaster. 
The D terminal's wrong. Controversy. <laughs> Grab your torch and pitchforks. <laughs> then connect. So this is probably my favorite thing about this device. This device is the ultimate companion for any of you going out on adventures with your classic digivices. So this is compatible with the D2 or the season one digivice, the D3, the season two digivice, and mostly compatible with the season three one. Um, there are some Digimon in this that aren't recognized because they were made for season three, but most of them do actually work, which is amazing. So let's say you're out and about with your D arc. So this is the season three one, rocking with Terrymon, and you've just had a battle with a Digimon and you're like, who the heck is that? On here, we scroll across to connect and scan. So this will give us the option to scan any Digimon that we've encountered. So Digimon from our party, a friendly Digimon, such as Kalumon, as we can see here on this beautiful playmat. But let's have a look at some enemy Digimon. So go to others. So we've got Goblimon there, Harpymon, Alamon. Who the heck is that, hmm? Any idea who that is? If you're not sure, well, you select that. Then you go on here and select connect. You connect them together and then you initiate on the Digivice, not the D-Terminal. And all shall be revealed. It's number 283, it's Mothmon. Pretty cool. So let's see, Mothmon, can you digivolve? Who did you digivolve from, Mothmon? Ah, so you came from Patamon, did you? So there's more fun to be had with this digivolving stuff as well because some Digimon have armor digivolve. We've got all the digi eggs, so digi egg of courage, friendship, love, sincerity, knowledge, reliability, hope, light, miracles. So let's see what Patamon digivolves to with the digi egg of miracles. So this is what turned Vmon into Magnamon. So what does it do to Patamon? Oh, cool, I think that's Rhinomon. Come on, be Rhinomon, make me look good. It is Rhinomon, buzzing, Rhinomon's sick. So yeah, let's go back and let's have another play. So go to reverse and we get to watch this cool animation again and listen to the funky music. So let's try Patamon with the Digi Egg of Kindness. Be kind to your hamster and it will become. That's a cool sprite. Is that Prairie Mon? That's my guess. Am I right? Here we go. The ultimate test number 287. Oh, I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. Awesome, so you can have loads of fun with that exploring different digivolutions and stuff, which is ace. So you may be wondering, does it work with the classic V pets? No, is the answer, and I'll just show you. So this is Greymon on the original English version one. Let's connect them. It just errors out. And those are the options for the database, which is, like I said, the main feature of this device. So let's just have a look, check him out. Can't come this far and not look at Vegemon. There he is, pretty cool. So in the database, it can scan the Digimon from the Digivices, not the VPETs. Cool, next along, translate. So this is just a fun little gimmick. So you see the text at the top, you can type something in here and it will translate it on screen for you into that cool text. So translate my name. So there across the top, that's Alex in Digicode. Next one is game. These are just mini games. So game A, my high score is 450. I don't really play this game that much. So you've got to shoot these things with your crosshairs. So you get them in the middle, you press the button and it shoots them. And the black things are life, I think. And yeah, this is just a little mini game to pass the time because this is from an era before all your mobile phones had all these fancy apps and stuff. You know, you couldn't sit and play Fortnite on your phone or anything back in our day. You know, this is how you pass the time. This is how you'd sit and ignore your family at family dinners and stuff like that. Back then, you know, texting was 20p a text. 20p a text. So yeah, this was our only escape from social interaction. Already battered my high score, shows how much I've been playing this. But yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> and then there's game B. Okay, it looks like we've got Toy Agamon and then it scrambles him up. So take a good look at how he looks. And then we're gonna use the arrows on the side, select, 
and then take it to where it needs to be. So that needs to go there. There we go. And then just get this last bit down here. Nope. Okay, they need to swap sides, I reckon. So them two swap, select. There we go. We rebuilt Toy Agamon. Seems like a pretty fitting one for that. So next one looks like Deltamon. This is going to be a tricky one because he's a bit of an abomination of a Digimon anyway. He's got three heads. Why do you need three heads? That looks like a foot, so that must be bottom left. That looks like a tail. That looks like maybe his actual head. Oh, it's coming to life. There we go. So that's Deltamon. And this is a cool way of discovering new Digimon as well, because obviously there's loads packed in here. You can just scroll down the names, but this way we can be like, okay, this guy's cool. Let's learn more about him. So we press down on here and it'll take us to the database. So we can look at his name where it's going to tell us Deltamon. So that's a cool way of learning new Digimon. So those are your two mini games. Next up, versus battle. So people often ask me, what is this compatible with? And it seems to be a bit random. So it should be able to battle with these Digivices, but I cannot get it to work. So when you go into a versus battle, you have to input a call password. So this is a weird way of doing it. But again, each Digimon in the D terminal has its own unique password. So let's have a look. Who is Ace? So like, you type in Ace, this will always bring up this same Digimon, and this is who you're going to end up battling with. There we go. Shardramon, Shadramon. It's the Fire Stingmon guy. Select. He's got no versus energy. I don't actually know how you increase that. Maybe it's through doing more of the mini games or something. So now we connect. So on here we go to connect, versus, and then get ready. So now it's ready to connect. I connect it, hold it nice and steady, good long press, but they both error out. Now, I think I'm doing something wrong there because I'm pretty certain these should be able to fight. I don't get why they can't fight, but can it connect to the originals? The answer is yes, but it's a bit fiddly. You've got to make sure it's nice and steady and you do a good long press on your VPET or it will bug out. So check it out. So nice and long, deliberate press. There we go. It's working. So we've got Greymon versus Shardramon. Old school champion versus one of these fancy modern armor digivolutions. Shadramon is what Wormmon becomes if you give him the digi egg of courage. Yeah, Greymon wins. Buzzing. Great job, Greymon. And I can't get the versus battle to work with this either, which is weird because they are compatible because they're scanning okay, but they're not battling, so I don't know. Next up, is it compatible to battle with the modern devices? So this is the recently released Digimon X. Let's type in another code. Okay, Corey, reveal yourself. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is what's really annoying. You go through that, you type your password and you get a Digimon, but then you get a baby level and it can't fight. What? It can fight? Who is that Digimon? Yeah, Upamon. I thought it was Upamon. Normally babies can't fight, but Upamon's ready for a fight. It's all the hype from the Digimon professor. Come on then, Upamon. Let's do this. So Upamon versus Diaboramon X. So over here... Go to other and then connect. So it doesn't matter how hard and deliberate you press the button this time. It's going to error on your Digimon X, but the D terminal is still going to fight. So Upamon's still going toe to toe with a Diaboromon X, but Diaboromon X wasn't interested in taking that fight. How's it going, Upamon? Upamon wins. <laughs> cool. So the fact that it doesn't connect with the Digimon X makes me pretty confidently say that it won't work with the Digimon 20th either. But it is worth trying just in case if you do have these things, but don't buy it with the intention of connecting it to it. Uh, then there's system where you could do the sound or the contrast. Sound is just on or off. And contrast, you go from five to invisible. 
I don't know why you'd need to change it because five is pretty pot spot on. So yeah, that's a basic overview of the D terminal, but don't go anywhere because it's time for back of the day. We're opening the classic collection, Digimon card game EX1. What do we got? We've got Megadramon, Andromon, XVmon, Hagurumon, Tentomon, Pink Feathery Agumon, Wizardmon, Garurumon, Phoenixmon, Dino Beemon, Mega Kabuterimon, and Ogamon. So yeah, that's that. Thank you for hanging out today. It's been absolutely ace. Stay safe, stay ace, keep rocking. Peace.